my first red flag was in uh, actually January of 1998, I believe. And in that red flag, we had F-15s, F-16s, uh, RAF tornadoes, and a smattering of other aircraft, A-10s, etc. That was a almost purely conventional air fight. Uh, there were no fifth gen assets, no stealth assets involved at all. We had, uh, and in that fight, my job as a wingman was to stay visual with my flight lead. He would get me to the merge with the adversary, and if I did everything right, I would get in a, uh, a within visual range encounter. That's changed significantly. The wingmen that we have out there now are air battle managers from a fighter cockpit. In the F-22 and the F-35, with the sensor suite that they have and the integration, they can actually can, uh, see the battlefield in, uh, in a way that I was never capable of in the F-15C that I was operating then. So the first part of it is just the level of expectation of the air crew. Now the effects that we're generating right now, bringing the F-22 and the F-35 into it, well, they're low observable aircraft. So the fighters, the adversaries that we have looking for us, they, they can't very easily detect us. And so in a fight in 1997, everybody saw everybody else coming, and it arrived at the merge, and you got into um, initially beyond visual range, but eventually within visual range combat. Now your adversaries know roughly where you are, but they don't know exactly where you are, and that applies to both the F-22 and the F-35. So now you're, our fighter pilots are being air battle managers as they drive to that merge, and they're usually approaching our adversaries undetected. And that's a capability that's not only against an air-to-air -air threat, but it's against a surface-to-air threat as well. That low observable technology that the F-22 and the F-35 possess is effective against surface-to-air missiles as well. So it's a pretty significant change from where we were 20, so, 20 or so years ago when I started uh, flying in red flag for the first time.